Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. My name is Hamilton. I'm going to be walking through the Bitcoin markets today. Something uh, very interesting has happened here. We're not going to start with the daily, but we will be starting with the shorter time frames because uh, we have completed a measure move down here that we did talk about here. Uh, and I did actually get in this short on the way down, which is pretty good from about 58.5. As we said, this kind of low as we lost that area that we were looking for a trade down. Uh, I didn't go all the way down to 55, although that is where the measure move is. I basically just landed in um, my take profits based on uh, these highs anyway uh, as we basically said we were going to do uh, from this pattern coming down in terms of the long term here guys i am still building my dca position um that's fine i am still expecting upwards momentum here to come through uh, it's just looking a little bit bleak right now i would put this personally uh from my experience probably down as a bear trap uh but you got to be prepared for everything in crypto. A lot of things can happen. Uh, we could be in a situation where we top again and we bang it down to 40k. And I will explain why that is a possibility. Uh, but what I will say here uh, in terms of probability uh i think we're probably quite close to the bottom okay so there's a few things that can happen here we do actually have a low here as well so we can actually uh see if we can plot something in what we got here no broadening wedge we do not trade those in crypto land as you guys know um this on the other hand nope still broadening <laughs> get out of here get out of here yeah but this measure move is done okay this measure move is done we are good to go here looking for something else now let's just see how oh, we can see i think this will be more visible on the higher time frames but if we are just going to draw it in anyway and and get a really scary measure move here based on this previous low uh this looks rough okay and this is one of the one of the things i want to talk to you guys i was going to talk to you guys about this uh in the in the long term but i mean this is this is pretty much the same scenario right so if we do get suppressed here if we do come down if we do get obliterated girthy dumps here big meg coming through then uh yeah i mean it's basically 54 if we lose 54 um i was looking at this low here when i was previously analyzing it now i'm looking at this thinking hmm 52 i feel like 54 54 yeah so if, if we lose 54 yeah i'm gonna stick with that there's a lot more uh, correlative activity there anyway uh, and that is also where we were around the top before uh in the last run up right so if we are looking at that we're gonna say 54 that is also below the volume weighted atr band so if we do get a major crash here with this thing and we basically go below there uh consistently what we'd be looking for generally is to come down retest it break that low and then find a girthy short just like we found here right uh, and then just ladder in those take profits all the way down here with the measure move okay so this measure move is down to forty-five thousand dollars for a bitcoin that is very low do i think we get down there uh not unless everything crashes right if we get a huge stock market crash i think that's very very likely in terms of the traditional ta here that is a possibility, and this is very, very valid as a pattern. It's symmetrical. Uh, it's Sorry, it's not symmetrical. It's parallel. <laughs> it's parallel, uh, and the measure move works. Okay, so if I am going to say... 45k here um i think it will be in a crashing event but there will be some nice warning signs i don't think we just bang it down here personally it can happen anything can happen here i will be honest but but uh, again i am still building that long position up and if i do find shorts here with the rest of my account on the way then it's just more profit when we do eventually head up here right so that's cool that's fine uh, and the risk reward here generally guys is is when we break up below that uh, 54 area right 54 dot on right 54 dot on banging it down to 50k is really the trade i'm looking for uh we've got this pivot point here it is super super important we've been eyeing this up for a while okay so if it does come down here then that's the area i'm initially looking for the bounce but if it does want to wick down to 45k as well i'm not gonna be uh i'm probably not gonna be in the trade at that point to be honest guys i'll just take the money and chill all right <laughs> and chill here from this point okay uh, so it's important to remain calm it's important to uh to still look at the long-term macro which we will go into now okay so if we are bringing up the macro bringing up the 24 hours uh 24 hour time frame we can see uh pretty much a similar thing right we've, we've got this channel structure here um this is a little bit different to kind of what we're seeing on the four hour the four hour is more this right um so if we are looking for catastrophic events <laughs> then uh i mean we've, we've just walked you through that trade anyway right so what i'm going to be kind of looking at here is this bigger structure and uh, if you are looking at this as well it's actually a uh, a broadening wedge right it's, it's a broadening wedge 
just, okay, just is pretty close, but um, yeah, it's, it, it is broadening, so I don't trust it that much, and I do think we trap if we come down here, uh, so if, yeah, 46k is also where that, uh, th these these areas are, so uh, was I on the wrong one there? Oh yeah, that's 50k, uh, so yeah, this is actually a really important trend line, if we are just uh, avoiding measure moves here, guys, this trend line, super important, this is going to be something that if it holds, this is the transitional period we're looking for, so if we bang it down to about like 50, uh, the, the low 50s here 54 that kind of area and we do bounce back up here guys then uh yeah i think there will be a very good opportunity for potentially an ascending triangle here uh and as that breaks out towards the sky here back over 70k could be very very nice here that's a little bit uh too far away to really be saying to be honest guys so what i'm going to do here is is look at the more immediate term here on a daily so we're looking over the next month coming into next year as well right so 54k is that important trend line here even though it's a broadening wedge and we shouldn't trade it towards the downside really guys um this is still a very very valid and good trend line to be uh, to look to look at right so if we if we hold that very very bullish if we lose that not the end of the world we got the 200 here at 50k but uh still pretty bad <laughs> okay it's pretty bad if we lose 50k to be honest guys uh but again we have an even bigger trend line here as you can see all the way from our march lows in 2020 okay 2020 the year of vid here. Uh, we can see that uh, there is actually a pattern here. We've talked about the upwards move here on this pattern, but technically there is a downwards move as well. And uh, I do want to highlight this because we're non-biased on the channel, okay? We're non-biased on the channel, but a lot of you guys aren't going to like this. <laughs> a lot of you guys aren't going to like this. I don't want to seem too bearish here, guys. I, I really don't. This is fine right now as long as we're holding this trend line i'm happy with it uh, and honestly guys you could even make a strong argument here that we need to still retest this area anyway based on us breaking this bad boy here right so if we're looking at this uh this giant descending triangle that was confirmed right we broke up from there uh, and i do just want to clarify this uh, to you guys because it is super important um with this descending triangle i don't know if i said ascending or descending but you can see this bad boy here that i'm drawing in right um the measure move on this was this wave, right? So the measure move on that, if we do bring this up from our breakout point, we weren't too far away here. We weren't too far away. We did get to 70. Um, and to be honest, guys, I probably should have taken some profit here in hindsight. Uh, but, I mean, bull, bulls were in, okay? Bulls were in, <laughs> and we were good. Bulls, B-U-L-Ls, okay, guys? Not, not, no, not that. But uh, yeah, honestly, guys, if we, if we break over 70k again, I'm chilling, right? This could just be a pullback after uh, this bad boy uh, coming to fruition. And also, we do have this wave here, which did play out as well. So we are due a little bit of a downwards motion here. So this is fine. Uh, and if we do head down to these high 40s slash 50s, I think it will be very brief. I think it will be a quick ting here. And what I really, really want uh, is actually to kind of stabilize around this 50 area, the mid 50s. And the reason for that is I will get a lower DCA entry without it looking too bearish if it looks too bearish uh, i'm a bit worried that the miners are going to sell uh, if that is the case right if they do kind of sniff out a top here uh, and if it does kind of cross towards the downside with this hash ribbons right um, that's one of your big capitulation signs but overall looking okay i'm still dcaing in the longer we stay down here uh the better to be honest as long as we don't go too low right so uh, down here is fine but uh, just in conclusion, right, if we lose 50k, not great. We would need to recover very quickly and have it be a bear trap more than anything, if that is the case, right? Absolute lows here with the volume wasted ATR ban on a 24-hour. It's currently at 32k. I, if we get down there, I'll probably buy it. I will probably buy it, to be honest, guys, just based on all the data we've seen. We've chickened out every single time, and the data is just so strong, Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the data is so strong. I'm probably gonna buy it. Okay, um, not with a lot. I will uh, use a, a good risk reward strategy. But if it does get down there, yes, I am bullish uh, on a bounce. Right, at least. Right. If if I'd have bought this one, which I talked about buying, and we decided against it in the end, right, because it was a lower low. But again, that's that's traditional TA coming through. I mean, it's it's a hundred percent from there all the way up, right? So yes, uh, I I would would take this as a, another opportunity to buy if that if that is the case, and I will be looking to kind of. Um take advantage of that opportunity and execute that edge as we love to say on the channel here as well right volume waste atr band on the top side is currently at 65k but honestly as time progresses this will come up here right and with that coming up to the all-time highs if we break above there and the all-time highs at the same time 
money. Okay, that's what it's all about here <laughs> on the channel. Um, what else we got here coming through? Round of blue boxes. Yeah, I mean, this is an area. This is definitely an area, and it wouldn't surprise me if we do actually bounce from here, but I don't want to be too cocky with it, okay? This is, uh, this is, uh, I mean, the next area below that is 48, so this would be an interesting area for sure. Um, and yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for Bitcoin, right? If we do just bring up Ethereum really, really quickly here for you guys, i just show you what's going on here. This looks a lot better on Ethereum. If we are looking at it on a daily with the measure move that we see coming through. So we talked about that descending triangle just now, but with this thing, this measure move, this wave did play out beautifully. Uh, and it's, it's almost like a sign that Ethereum is leading this run up uh, with, with all the meme coins, with all the DeFi, GameFi, all this stuff that's going on, right? Um, I do feel like Ethereum has been leading the charge here in terms of um, inflows of money, right? Uh, so if we are looking at this generally right now, this pullback is absolutely fine. If we do bang it above these highs, exactly the same as Bitcoin, looking to get above 5K here, and then money, cash, Benjamin Cohen's everywhere, okay? Um, and besides that, I think that's pretty much the video, guys. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic, um, what, what are we on, Monday? <laughs> <laughs> Monday. Uh, just quickly, for you guys that are still watching, uh, you regulars, the ones that matter the most here, uh, I will just say, I will just say, I do apologize for the lack of content here. I know you guys have been uh, trading this like madmen. You guys have been making serious money. I've been watching you. I've been watching you in the chat, okay? I don't often get a lot of time nowadays, but I've been watching you in the uh, the Telegram chat. It's completely free chat. If you, if you are uh, new here, feel free to join that. But yeah, I mean, good stuff. I love to see it. And uh, you guys are making copious amounts of cash just trading the standard edge here, uh, which typically just works, okay? So that's going to be it for the video. Be sure to drop a little likey on there. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already ready and what else what was the other thing there was one more thing did i say like like subscribe comment yeah if you comment <laughs> it's been a while since we've done this lads <laughs> it's been a while uh yeah if you comment i'll pick one comment the funniest comment okay the funniest comment i'll pick and uh i will also don't make them offensive though because that will damage the algo okay don't don't do that don't do that. But the funniest comment uh, will win two weeks on the WAD machine here. As I mean, We'll do a month. We'll do a month here. One month on the WAD machine uh, for you beautiful people. Okay? So that's going to be it from me. Have a fantastic week. Uh, I'll try and update you guys in a couple days. Um, but yeah, I am looking to ramp up the content again. It's just, uh, it's, uh, I'm busy. I'm a busy man right now doing the marketing thing. Okay? Uh, hopefully free up some time in the future. But um, yeah, that's going to be it. Peace out. Have a good one. Goodbye. Longest outro ever. <laughs>